In this video, we're going to take a look at the link between toolpath tolerance and the vector doctor tolerance. Now, this is quite important because you could be doing unnecessary steps to fix things when you don't need to. So what I've done, I've created quite a complex tracing and I know that this has got a few problems. So if I were to try to machine this, you can see I'll do a V bit, select a carving tool and I'm going to set up my material, let's say half an inch. Click refresh and it should give me a problem. Okay, so it's saying that there are vector intersections. So I'll OK that and I'm going to close the V-bit carving. Now, before I do that, take a look at the tolerance. So the tolerance for this particular toolpath is one foul. That's the default tolerance of the toolpaths. So bear that in mind. Keep a note of that. So I'm going to close that. And I'm going to open up the vector doctor and I'm going to just turn on vector intersections to check. Now I'm going to put that back to the default value, which is 0 0.01. Make sure that you turn off coincident points and it's just vector intersections that we want to look for. Coincident points won't make any difference to our machining. So if I select identify, and then let's zoom out. You can see I've got lots of problems here. Now, the only thing that I need to actually fix on this is one of these problems. Now, why is that? That's because I'm checking at a larger tolerance. So what I need to do is check at the same tolerance as what I'm creating the toolpath. So if I were to set that at one foo rather than 10 foo, and select all of that again, let's clear the markers and let's identify this time. Now remember how many markers were there just. Select to identify. You can see that I've just got one marker. So really that's the only thing that I need to fix. Not all of those other things that are popped up just a moment ago. It's just this one thing that's causing the issue. So if I were to zoom in and take a look at it, you can see that I've got some sort of, I'm not too sure what's going on. I think it's some sort of a loop here. But what I can do is either delete it because in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to really matter. Or I could try to remove the vector loop and fix it. So if I select everything, clear the markers and identify again, you can see that it's gone away and I should be okay. Okay, so I've only selected, I've only fixed one problem. So let's go back to the V-bit carving and try to machine it again. So select my tool again, exactly the same settings, click refresh and it refreshes for me. And now I can calculate it. So it's calculated. So make sure that when you use the vector doctor, that you use the same tolerance that you're using for your toolpaths. Otherwise you could be fixing a lot of stuff that you don't really need to fix. So let's simulate that and make sure that it worked. So that's the relationship between the toolpath tolerance and the vector doctor tolerance.